I'd like to, everyone, I'd like to uh, welcome Wes Hills for his first interview. Yeah. Okay, the first time he's ever been on, on, on the podium. Seriously. So, uh, let's take it easy on him. All right. Thank you. Um, obviously, a great, a great win for our team. Um, we talked all week about, you know, obviously winning at home. Um, it's important to win your divisional games on the, on, at home. Um, and that was a good football team we played today. And uh, it was a great team effort. Uh, we made plays on defense when we needed them. Uh, the thing we have to shore up is we have to tackle better. We tackle better defensively, and we have to tackle better on special teams. I thought we gave um, the gamblers way too good field position today, um, and that's going to come back and, and, and bite us at some point if we don't get that fixed. So, uh, But really proud of our effort. Our effort's always there with our players. And so uh, that's the thing I love coaching this team is our guys love football. And so it's a pleasure coaching this team, and uh, we'll open up for questions. It was, uh, yeah, I wanted to go down. Uh, I was in the thought process of uh, going down or should I score? I heard JD yell, just score. So I just ran it in um, to see the game for sure. But uh, we talked about it. It's called church mode for us. So got to be uh, smart on that. We didn't, we didn't call it church mode. Yeah, it's not on you. We didn't call it. We didn't call it right there. You score. Oh, you score? Yeah. All right. All right, there we go. You're good. I got a whole 100 yards. 110. All right. Uh, well, yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, the online, you know, um, was real. Uh, did a really good job today, man. They opened everything up for me. If it wasn't for them, obviously, we wouldn't have got 110 yards today. Uh, so big shout out to them. Um, and then I don't. Know, what would I say on that? Actually, 113. 118 carries. Mm. Cool. Uh, I'll take that. All right. <laughs> um, yeah. Man, so. We, um, we have a question online from Sam Just. Go ahead, Sam, unmute and ask your question. Uh, you know, I, we, played like, we played lights out last week, Sam. That's a great question. Uh, I don't think you ever pre press the panic button too early until you watch the tape. And uh, it's not coach speak. It's really not because I've got a lot going on, on my plate. I'm still a new head coach. It's only my second game. So I'm still – grasping seeing the whole picture myself so I'm not ready to make any rash decisions um, on, on anybody offense defense or special teams till till I see the tape so but I appreciate the question yeah it's odd I mean it's just so fun to work with coach flip and this and coach Martin and, and how much they prepare us for the week and we, we knew that that was in their bag and, and coach had a feeling so uh, I missed it a couple of times this week in practice, and Coach stayed on me every single time, and he knew it was coming. And um, I just, <laughs> it's beautiful when drill work comes to fruition in a game. And the way Lee ran that route, he's ran it perfectly. I knew where he was going, and just an unbelievable catch. And uh, that's why you practice. It's just so cool to see that transfer from the practice field to the game. It's a, it was a great play by a great throw, great protection, great catch. Um, we always talk about tools to the toolbox for the quarterback, and you want to give him as many tools to the toolbox as you can in terms of being able to have things to get to in certain situations. Um, you know, against pressure, we, you know, it's hard for those DBs to cover vertically. It's really hard. They're expecting something quick to come out. So you max protect, and, and we got down the field vertically. So uh, it was really, really great execution by our guys. Question online from the USFL update. Go ahead and unmute and ask your question. Hey, Coach, you got a big game uh, coming up next week against the Birmingham Stallions. Uh, got any thoughts on their roster and uh, how you're going to play with the Sure. Um, yeah, it's going to be a great atmosphere. Um, you know, uh, we, we've developed a relationship, obviously, with, with the coaching staff there and the players, you know, because we, we're staying in this, we have the same meeting rooms in the same facility. Uh, but it's going to be great to, it's, our, it's the most important game of our season because it's our next game. And, and that's the only reason. And so uh, we're going to enjoy this one tonight. We're going to give ourselves 24 hours, and we'll be, we'll be all Birmingham Stallions come tomorrow. Oscar, it looks like you're on again today. I want to ask your question. Unmute. Oscar, how's the weather down in Mexico, buddy? Uh, great, man. Hey, glad you're back. Mm -hmm. um, there, yeah, there were a lot of key moments in the game. You know, 
the fact that we ran the football better, you know, today uh, was huge. Uh, it's hard. It, it's really hard calling plays. It's hard playing football when, when, you, when you're struggling, run, struggling running the football. Um, you know, it's just it's hard. And so I thought the fact that we ran it a lot better, um, you know, really helped us propel us to, to, our, to our victory. And then we made we got two key turnovers in the second half, you know, to where you know it stopped their drives. Obviously, it was good to see our defense take the ball away. So um, I would say those two things. Th thanks for joining in again. We, we, we appreciate it. Hey, coach, coach, can you comment on Sage? Yeah, um, I thought that he, Sage's play carried over from the second half of last week. I thought, you know. Some guys sometimes in their first game, you know, go out and they do some uncharacteristic things, alignment things, don't run the routes the way they should. And I thought Sage got caught up a little bit in that in the first half and then settled in in the second half and made some huge plays for us in that second half of last week's game. And that carried over. He, he took the next step up. So, you know, a young player like Sage who hasn't played a lot of tight end, I mean, he was a receiver in college. So it's great to see him settling in to, to that position because that, that F, we call it our F tight end, that position – is huge in our offense. I mean, you look at all the West Coast teams, the, Kel the Kelseys, the Ertz, is the, those guys. That is a huge, huge piece of this offense. So we're so pleased he's here. Uh, Coach, uh, you talked about kind of, you know, say just week one adjustments now. Playing Pittsburgh, I guess, how did you adjust from looking at that film? Well, how do we look, how do we prepare for Houston? Yeah. Yeah, you know, it's been unique because, they, you know, Chris Wilson, I know Chris, he and I won a Super Bowl together in Philadelphia. He was the D-line coach. Um, so and I was the quarterback coach. So I know Chris, but Chris wasn't the coordinator in Philadelphia, nor was I the coordinator in Philadelphia. Um, I, we really didn't have a ton of film to go off of. We had one game and a scrimmage. So uh, obviously going into the Birmingham game, you know, Coach Chavis has been here uh, last year, so we have a lot more information. Is that saying, is that saying we're going to win the game next week? Who knows? But it will at least allow us to know kind of have a ch you know chance to know what's going on, and so uh, you know as you get into week three, week four, week five, there becomes more information on, on the opponents you're playing. Any other questions? Big, you know, um, I was able to uh, get another opportunity to play, you know, play again and play for Slippy Rock, and you know, love the coaches, love the, you know, atmosphere, love the staff there. Um, they gave me an opportunity, you know, made the most of it, you know. As you know, I went from there and then to the PA game, and then it's been a long road to get here, you know. Um, so I'm very thankful for Flip for uh, giving me an opportunity to come out here and play and show I can, you know, show what I can do, you know, and uh, put everything on notice. So. Um, I mean, your your typical, you know, typical injuries. You know, you got your, you know, muscle injuries or stuff like that. Nothing too crazy. Um, it sidelined me shortly, yeah, but uh, I was always able to come back and play. It never took me out for too long. And, and what a, what a day like this mean to you? You know, to have a, you know, a big day, you know, confidence wise, just everything. Um, it means the world to me. Um, to go out there and have the staff trust me enough to run the ball and uh, the team trust me enough to go out there and know I have their backs. Uh, it means the world to me. Just to have this opportunity, you know, it's just I'm very grateful. Very grateful for it. Thank you all so much. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Good to see everybody. Thanks.